Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another edition of the Food Game. And in today's episode, we are swinging by Dairy Queen, and they've got their half pound flamethrower grill burger, otherwise known as just the flamethrower at Dairy Queen. Got a couple napkins in the bag. And I'm pretty sure you can opt to get this in just a single patty, but this is the double. And the price was $4.99 for this sandwich. So, not too bad for a double patty burger. And of course, the name. The Flamethrower. Sick name, by the way. And what's interesting here is it also features their Flamethrower sauce, which... I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Uh, so, as the burger tries to fall apart there, it's mainly the lettuce. Darn lettuce, why don't you stay on the burgers for once? But there you go, I know the, the sun is kinda reflecting it in an odd way. Apologize for that, and it's funny because I can actually see the burger in my cameras Reflection. Got the double patties there. You got some of that uh, pepper jack cheese, I believe. So as you take the top off, to show you. you. Got that flamethrower sauce on the top there, along with more of that lettuce. You got a slice of tomato there as well, and uh, some bacon under there I don't think I've ever had Dairy Queen's bacon before so I mean it doesn't look that bad it kinda is it's on the flimsy side but I guess we're gonna see for ourselves and I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up this piece of lettuce over here because I'm probably gonna forget about it if I just leave it there Wow, as you do get a good amount of heat from just that a piece of lettuce with some of that sauce on there and I didn't grab a drink so I'm hoping this is going to be too uh, too hot but like I said we're going to see for ourselves here we go for the flame thrower burger from DQ wish me luck Uh, not too much heat on that bite, maybe just a little bit, but you really do taste the beef patties in this, and I'm actually a big fan of Dairy Queen's uh, beef patties. Uh, really nice and moist. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not really getting much except for the beef, which is kind of odd. Maybe I just went with too much beef, and that way you can't really taste much of the sauce. That bite was a little bit better. I got into some of that tomato there. Also adds a bit more moisture to the sandwich even though it already is moist. And from that bite, the heat is kind of starting to build but not much I guess that there, since there is so much beef on here, it might be a good idea to actually add twice as much of that sauce on here to just to give the effect of the heat.
But I have to say though, for five bucks, this is actually a tasty burger. Really good quality on the beef there. The sauce though, although it isn't the hottest, it does give you a pretty good amount of heat. Now I'm really starting to wonder what kind of sauce that actually is. It actually tastes a bit creamy, but mm, I don't know. It's kind of like a honey mustard texture, but you don't get honey mustard. Instead, you get heat. So the bacon there. It's not too bad. It is really thinly sliced, so you don't get a whole lot from the bacon. But overall, I think the main highlight of this would be the sauce along with that beef. And this is thing is so good, I'm just gonna take one more bite. Yeah, for five bucks, you really can't go wrong. Um, you really don't taste too much of the lettuce. Then again, I'm sure half of it has fallen off the burger by now. But yeah. So on my rating scale for Dairy Queen's Flame Thrower Grill Burger. And again, I got the half pound version, so do get an additional patty. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to give this a 9.5 out of 10. I know it didn't seem like I enjoyed it that much, but really, the more you get into this, the burger, the more that I'm starting to enjoy it. Again, the heat is not the strongest, but you do get a pretty good amount of it. I guess I still can't pinpoint what type of sauce that actually is that's causing that heat, but it's called the Flamed Over Sauce, and I think the name is awesome, by the way. The Flamed Over Sauce. I get really good quality on the beef patties here. The grill burger from DQ is no joke. Um... I guess the condiments and stuff like that, or the condiments, um, I guess the lettuce and the, the, the lettuce and the, the tomato didn't add too much to the sandwich, or the burger, excuse me, but I guess they do add in that little bit of presentation. Again here, I know it doesn't really look that appetizing right now because it's all smushed down and stuff, but really, if you ever get a chance to try this, I would recommend it. And if I do ever happen to go to DQ on just like a regular day when I'm not filming something, I would definitely go out and get this again. Honestly, this along with the the five dollar chicken strip basket, those are on the top of the list for me at DQ. Way to go! So, like I said, if you have a DQ nearby, highly suggest this. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I didn't even realize a huge piece of lettuce actually fell on my seat here, and that sauce too. Looks like I'm gonna have to clean that up before I 
get out of the car. But anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video here. And you know what's up, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed. Go press the subscribe button, knock it out. As always, have yourself a nice day and subscribe to join the club.